So Tekken 8 is out now, and I thought, why not give Tekken 8 a shot? Seeing as I tried out Street Fighter 6 when that came out, obviously we played Mortal Kombat 1. Tekken is one of the mechas in the fighting game scene. So let's give Tekken 8 a shot and see what it's all about. A lot of people have been talking about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, I gave it a shot and I got some thoughts. Let's start off on a high note. Let's talk about some goods for Tekken 8. First things first, man. The music in Tekken 8 goes so hard. I've never really played much Tekken in the past. I played Tekken 6, and I only played a little bit of it. I don't know if all the Tekkens have had banger soundtracks, but just the loading screen music was getting me hyped up. Okay. I can't remember another fighting game that really got me amped up like this in a minute. You know, obviously there's some good like background scenery music in the fighting games, but Tekken 8, they're just like, we're gonna give you some bangers. A huge prop I gotta give Tekken 8 is the game launched and on day one, on day uno, the game has cross platform cross play tekken 8 has cross platform play on day one i wish other fighting games had cross platform play on day one certain other games have not gotten their cross play yet and the game has been out for months tekken released day one with cross play the biggest round of applause to Tekken 8 for having that ready, having it set and good to go on launch. You have a PlayStation, you play Tekken on there. Your friend has an Xbox, they play there and you can cross play day one. That is so amazing. Great job Tekken for having that. You already get like five points from me. Next thing that blew my freaking mind in Tekken 8. The customization. I don't know how good or how crazy the customization has been for Tekken in the past, but Tekken 8's customization is insane. I did not know that you had this much freedom. You can pick a character on the roster and change their whole appearance, hairstyles, shirts, glasses, give them a beard, like anything you can think of, you can change that character. And that's, that's insane. I don't recall any other fighting game that really has this crazy of customization. So this was a nice surprise to me. Also, you can customize your avatar, which I didn't know you have avatars, but you do. So that's pretty sweet. You can customize your banners, your icons, your tags, your title, like literally everything is customizable in Tekken 8, which is nuts. Now there are locked customizable items for your character that are locked behind, uh, you know, paywalls. So you gotta pay currency to unlock them. And I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the prices of these items, they were like saying 20,000 coins, like 2 million coins, a million coins. I'm like, oh my God, I'm never gonna lock these. But after playing like three matches, Matches, I racked up like 2 million coins. So getting currency or getting the coins in Tekken 8 is really simple. Unlocking these customizable items is a lot more affordable and doable than I was expecting. Props to Tekken 8 not being a grind fest to get coins. Now one of the big things you guys are probably wondering, Cage, all this is good and dandy, but how's the gameplay? How does Tekken 8 feel? I am happy to say that Tekken 8 feels pretty sweet. I have to reiterate this. I am not a big Tekken guy. I only played a little bit of Tekken 6, but Tekken 8's gameplay and combos just feel so smooth and buttery. I have never learned a combo in Tekken ever, but I tried out their little combo challenge and some of it was a little difficult because, you know, my mindset's not switched on to the Tekken uh, gameplay mechanics, but after a while, I kind of got the combos down and it felt pretty satisfying landing them. Like when you land a Tekken combo, even if you land like a three hit combo, it feels like you just did the craziest thing ever because every hit just feels like it hurts.
And that should be something in a fighting game. When you land a punch, it should feel like you landed a punch. And Tekken 8 makes you feel it. So coming from a guy that really never played much of Tekken and don't really dabble too much in the 3D fighters, Tekken 8 was surprisingly a lot more manageable to play than I was expecting. I thought I was going to get overwhelmed. And granted, there were some, you know, combos that they were showing off that was pretty overwhelming. But for the most part, it was doable. And by the end of my little play session, I was actually feeling pretty good about my skills in Tekken. And then I went online. Online felt phenomenal. No lag whatsoever. I got rocked, but I had fun and I got around. So that's something. And something I really like is that while waiting for the matchmaking to find you an opponent, you can actually practice your character while waiting. So you don't just have to sit there and look at the screen. I love that. I don't know if that was in the past Tekken games, probably, but genius. Let's talk about story mode. If you guys know me, I'm a big Mortal Kombat guy and I love their story modes. They make the story modes like a full on movie. I think Mortal Kombat pioneered fighting games having full on story modes. I never played any of the Street Fighter or Tekken stories, so I don't know if they have actual story modes like cutscenes. I think it's more of like an image and then there's some voiceover and that's it, I think. But Tekken 8 actually has a full on story mode with cutscenes like a full movie. Hold up, this is a full on cinematic story? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I thought we were not going to get any of this. Now, I kind of want to play it on the channel. So if you guys want to see me do a full Let's Play of it, drop a thumbs up. If a lot of you guys like this video, I'll do a full playthrough of the story. The game is really nice to you if you have not played any of the other Tekken stories because they give you a little recap from all the previous Tekken games, which is so nice because, again, never played the stories for the other Tekken games. And I just got a quick little Cliff Notes version of all the other seven Tekken games. I feel like I'm all caught up now. So that is amazing that I can start the Tekken 8 story without feeling like I know nothing. Sometimes jumping into a game series at the eighth one could be a lot for you. You're like, who is this character? What's the relationship? Like I have no knowledge of it for the past seven games, but this little quick recap of the previous Tekken games is just genius and i don't know why more games don't do this now that we've gotten all that out of the way let's talk about the things i didn't like about tekken 8. i couldn't really find much things i didn't like about tekken 8 which is crazy to say but while playing i didn't really experience anything that i was like oh this is annoying this is stupid. If I had to really nitpick, if I had to say something just to say something, there's a little thing that irks me when you're hovering over your character and it takes like a couple seconds before the character pops up so you can see their whole, you know, character model and, and design. That annoys me a little bit just because like I want to go hover over the character and the character pops up instantly like we're on like next gen consoles right now. We should be able to do that pretty easy, I would think. Again smallest nitpick in the world okay i was really looking while playing tekken 8 for something to write down in my cons my my things i don't like column and i couldn't really find much me hovering over a character on the select screen and it takes a second to pop up that's annoying but that's it and if that's the only issue i say that's a huge win for tekken 8. overall i've never been a tekken guy i played a little bit in the past but I never learned any combos. All I really did was mash buttons with Eddie and I somehow won matches. Tekken 8 is so much fun to play and is so welcoming to newcomers to the series, which that's me, sign me up, I'm a newcomer. I for sure would definitely be playing more Tekken 8. And again, if you guys wanna see me do a let's play of the Tekken 8 story mode, please drop a thumbs up. And if a lot of you guys wanna see it, I'll do it right here on the channel. So stay tuned, possibly for 
a let's play. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me and my experience with Tekken 8. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys have played Tekken 8, what do you guys think about it? Are there things in the game that you don't like? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys have not yet, like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name's on Cage Games and you just got caged. Is this what Tekken's all about? Is this the greatness that I've been missing?